Hi, this is Richard Burdick, and I feel that I'm a very successful composer. I don't get my music performed that much, but I work in a unique way and um, have a unique voice. I feel I have something to say. I'm not just trying to write the music for Harry Potter, which is nice music, like Harry Potter music, but I want to write it for trombone. No, that's not it. I have actually something to say. I use the I Ching as a structural foundation for my music, and I'm really fascinated by the system. I've been working on it since the early 80s, and the latest works I'm doing are systematic works going through the whole cycle of 64. But that's not the point of this video today. The point of this video is finding inspiration and not getting set or put down by this demonetization of YouTube's um, small channels like me. You know, I have a less than 100. I thought I was doing really well. I had, last time I had like 69 subscribers. That's pretty good. Uh, if I had a concert, a solo concert, 69 people come up, I'm happy with that. 69 people watching my channel. But YouTube thinks, I uh, know. And they're not, they're not doing it the way now the U.S. tax works, where the poor people, us 69 use or watchers people are subsidized is subsidized somehow by the people getting millions of views no that's not how they work they they pay the million million equal at, as far as i know um it's all equal um so point one is even though they're not paying us anymore i wasn't making any money anyway um i think i had 25 dollars in my account which i'm going to get from them now um it'd be nice to have a thousand subscribers and um, get some money. Yes, that'd be nice. People watching my stuff, people excited. But there is a process in, in what I'm doing where I think no one cares. It's like, why would I listen to his music? It's, it's, it's weird. But really, there's something, I have something to say. So I am saying something, and that's what's important to me. Now, um, in the process of composing, I it, organize. I start by organizing something, and organization is really important to me. My website has some pages from more than eight years ago still. Um, as I organize and get my music final copies and published, I update the website and I do a demo video of the composition. So this is really what's important to me. The process is find a website, web page of my i-ching-music.com website, it's not updated, which means to me that the piece is not published on musicandneo.com. Um, so the process is find something that I'm excited about when I'm needing the next step in, in publishing. So I find the web page, I update the web page, I update the score, get a final copy of the score through Sibelius. I used to use Encore, now I'm updating everything to Sibelius, which is much prettier. So I update to Sibelius. I print the PDF, I publish it on musicandneo.com, where I have over 160 compositions listed right now uh, for sale. Um, I update the web page, I do a demo video on YouTube, and that goes to my web page so that you can go to the website and see my demos. You know, there's Sibelius, I play the horn track, trumpet tracks, but it's all Sibelius output um, for now. So this is my process, updating the website, getting it published to YouTube, getting my works in the final copy that I'm happy with. And I have uh, like 250 compositions, so it's gonna take a couple more years. And I don't care so much that you're not listening, but you know, if you find something you like, please leave a nice comment. Um, and that's about it. So what I'm saying is, for those who are worried about monetization, ah, do what you find exciting and keep doing it. That's what keeps you happy and happy people keep the world peaceful and all that stuff. So thanks for watching today.